A warm welcome to this webinar titled on mathematical documentation and computation using online tools. First of all, I would like to thank the management of St. Mary's College Thutukudi, especially Reverend Sister Principal, the HOD Department of Mathematics and the organizer of this webinar. So I, I just wanted to get into the session directly. In the first three slides, we are going to just discuss about what is LATIC, why we should learn LATIC, where LATIC is embedded. Okay, first we can see what is LATIC. It's kind of programming language, but I am sure about it. It will not be like a difficult one. You can just generate or you can produce one document in a highly professional manner as a well-designed document. Why we should learn LATIC? It is needed to focus only about uh, whatever your content you are going to just paste it on your tick. It is not needed to worry uh, to care about the design at the same time alignment like whatever you are facing in your word. It's completely different from the word. It's kind of user friendly software. You can just produce one uh, document in a highly professional at the same time customizable uh, document. Next, where LATIC is embedded. I just wanted to show just three examples to you. Uh, you may have already noticed it. But uh, you didn't know the proper reason uh, which is a behind concept that is LATIC code was there. I just wanted to show one example that is MathJax. So I just wanted to show one website which is already saved as a bookmark. So uh, you would have seen many times some of the academic journals uh, were just uh, being as a open access journals which was having some mathematical expressions in that particular article. But that time you didn't notice there was a behind uh, with that uh, mathematical expressions were embedded with LATIC codes. I just wanted to show one example of this paper from the Springer journal that is, yeah, here you could see some uh, uh, mathematical expressions. So if I just wanted to use this mathematical expressions actually they are produced this uh, by using latter codes so you can just come to know notice it by simply right click it and then there was a uh, two codes were embedded one code is math ml code one more code is tick commands so here you could see 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 there is a beautiful uh, latter command was uh, behind concept to produce this particular equation so if you want to use this code, you can just simply right click and then uh, go into the tech commands. You can even simply copy down and then you can paste it in your uh, present uh, LaTeX uh, compiler. You can even use this codes, uh, whatever the you're going to prepare as a paper article. You can just copy down from the uh, already existing uh, article. You can simply copy down and then paste it in your present uh, LaTeX uh, document. So this is one example. So one more thing, so most of the times you would have practiced with uh, equation editor which was already associated with uh, MS Word. So here I am going to just uh, give one uh, equation, see here. So usually you will be using this kind of uh, uh, notations, mathematical notations to insert one equation. So instead of that, if you have uh, have uh, some knowledge about LATIC, so it is easy to just type as a LATIC code. So here I just wanted to show to you an example. Yeah. So here, for example, so there is a code to show summation i just need to use a latex command that is slash sum for example if i want to insert one more thing i just wanted to show to you if you want to insert one uh, square root of five for example so there is a, a code that is latex code sqrt so if you just give a space you can uh, automatically get square root of five so likewise uh, equation editor is also associated with the tick commands. I just wanted to show to you just third command that is uh, math type. In math type, 
okay first i need to delete this yeah math type there was a given one option that is toggle tick so i hope you could see this toggle tick so here uh, what will help you so already you have uh, just uh, copied one thing okay so you can just simply copy down and then you can paste it over here i just need to give this as a math code like uh, by just giving this between the dollars and then after this i need to copy down sorry select this and then if i press just simply like a uh, toggle tick automatically it converts as a whatever you have seen in there uh, as a present article which was uh, there as a open access article so simply you can just delete the particular part you can even uh, use this you can just generate this as a math type command also so i hope you are understood this so this will be the easier part to generate as a uh, math type also so math type is also embedded with tick commands that's what i just wanted to conclude this so i just wanted to go back to the presentation slides okay okay i hope you are understood uh, at which places latex codes are embedded so uh, just kindly do listen each and every seconds of this video surely you will be enjoying uh, by preparing tech document after this session so it will be sure uh, you can just learn the latex it will be in a easier mode okay uh, what are all the latex editors are available in offline mode okay so here you could see uh, first one is technic center uh, sorry tech maker second one is technic center third one is tech studio fourth one is uh, likes uh, fifth one is uh, win edit these are uh, some uh, latex compiler uh, which are popular one so among which i like to recommend to you use tech studio which i am using now so this will be the user friendly software the interfaces are uh, highly professional at the same time if you started to if you are a beginner you can just start using uh, tech studio so that will be a easier one so you'll be enjoying once uh, you can install it uh, at the same time i don't want to waste the time uh, by just saying how to install the software anyway i just share the procedure of uh, installation of this software uh, everything once the session gets over you will receive as a mail how to install the software okay once if you want to compile any latex document there is one uh, a backbone uh, that is uh, one more software that is latex distribution so these are uh, three distributions are popular one so on windows you could see miktek and then tech lite on linux if you are using uh, there will be required tech lite if you are supposed to use uh, mac so there is a latex distribution name is mac tech so here i am using a uh, windows so i am using that uh, miktek so that will be a preferred one so it can produce uh, it can provide uh, thousands of packages uh, which is needed to compile your uh, document so with this uh, two uh, latex uh, editor and one more thing is uh, latex distribution you can just compile your uh, document okay these are two things are important latex distribution software uh, one more thing is latex compiler okay so here i'm just going to sh show one to you one uh, sample latex so here i have already installed a uh, uh, text studio in my system so i'm going to just simply copy down this and then uh, paste it into my uh, text studio okay so the appearance of this latex will be like this so here this will be the appearance of uh, text studio 
So here you could find some of the user friendly interfaces are there. So that's why I'm just preferring this. If you are uh, typing any article related to mathematics subject discipline, so it is highly recommended to use this uh, text studio. Okay. So here, uh, first I'm going to prepare one template is about article academic. Uh, you're going to submit in academic journals. So I just wanted to prepare one uh, template of uh, article. So here I need to create one uh, just template uh, it was there already feed it as a template so here you should go get into this uh, option that is file and then new from template so here what is needed to prepare article okay so just i need to click article after this i need to just simply press okay okay so after this, it was uh, saved as a latex quotes. So it is not needed to memorize the quotes. Okay, it was there, feeded as the template. So that's why I'm just preferring this Text Studio software. Everything is uh, there. Uh, if you want to generate one uh, uh, thesis, also you can just simply prepare. Uh, you can just get it to the option is called report. At the same time, if you want to prepare any uh, uh, PPT uh, in a uh, LaTeX, you can just press Beamer. There are some more uh, templates is also available. If you could get into the option that is Wizard. So here, if you press Quick Start, Quick Start. So here, you could see. See, if you press it. Uh, if you want to prepare letter or book or uh, beamer, you can just simply press OK. Automatically, you will uh, get to know the template of the uh, required document. Okay. So, if at the same time, if you want to customize the size of your document. Okay. So, that is provided as the geometry option. So, here, if you want to customize my document size with the height, width, at the same time margin size, page uh, margins. So you can just easily customize your document and then you can uh, import your template. Okay. So here I have just imported one uh, LaTeX template of article. First I need to save this. In uh, one of my folder. Okay, I'm going to save in the folder that is uh, LaTeX webinar. So here I can just give one name about that uh, tech document as uh, that may be check. Okay, so okay, so here I have saved the file. So here uh, there will be options to compile the uh, tech uh, that is here there is a build and view options. Okay, so that does if you press it, it uh, first time it takes time to generate as a PDF. So here uh, you have uh, got parallelly one window was opened that is your uh, produced PDF. So here I can just give one title. See, so like uh, LaTeX webinar. Okay. So once if I press so EFI that are uh, build and view options, you can just generate it as a PDF. Okay. So this is the way to import article uh, from your already existing tech uh, templates. Okay. So in other compilers, you could not see this kind of options. That's why I'm just preferring to use Tech Studio software. So, which is available uh, as an open source software. I will be just providing the link to download the software. At the same time, I will be providing the link to download the LaTeX distribution, which will be the backbone of to compile this uh, tech document that is Tech Studio. Okay. In this, I just wanted to insist you only two things. One is preamble part that is 
so sorry so whatever you are going to just feed or uh, you are going to configure before to the begin document part that is called preamble part one more part is that is actual content whatever you are going to feed as a tech uh, document that is called body of the latex okay that is from uh, begin document till end document so in this you are just learned two things one is preamble part of the tech document second one is body of the content that is you are going to write a text in the document uh, from the part uh, slash begin document till slash end document okay i just wanted to go back to the presentation slides okay so here simply i'm going to copy down this uh, sample attic i just wanted to show to you one uh, thing uh, after that uh, afterwards i will just explain to you how to write uh, mathematical equations so here so sorry so already it was there with the uh, begin document and then end document so simply it is needed to copy the only part the formula of this document so here it should be pasted after the session part okay so here if you compile it see you could see the output of the uh, text whatever I have pasted there okay fine so here it was there uh, already uh, title so if you want to give uh, the author name you can just type here some of the author name if you just compile it you could see author name so likewise you can give abstract content abstract okay next so it's a quite easier process next what is a major advantage uh, which is available in latex i just wanted to show an example which uh, derived from my presentation slides okay so uh, in uh, word uh, it is always needed to worry about the white spaces for example if i am copying this uh, text from my presentation see you are here you could find there are some white space errors so here i just uh, wanted to paste it in uh, word so whatever your content copied from somewhere if you paste it in your uh, word it will be retained with the white space errors but if you copy the same and then if you paste it in latex you could see the miracle yeah you can see the wonder of this compiler yeah see uh, in the compiler uh, there it was retained with the uh, white space errors but you could see the output of this uh, latex yeah see there it was uh, just uh, generated as a pdf without the white space errors so that is a major advantage at the same time beauty of the latex compiler it will not consider white space errors it will produce one highly professional uh, tech as a pdf uh, file but uh, here you could not see the feature in your word yeah okay
okay in which i just wanted to intimate you one more thing okay so here uh, i have just uh, generated this passage paragraph so in which if i wanted to break one uh, line falsely i need to use here i should not just give a enter whatever i am just using in uh, word but it should not be like so here i should use either uh, double slash to force generate uh, as a new line or you can use slash new line command so it is recommended to use uh, double slash that will be the easier one so after this see here you could see that see it was uh, falsely just created one more line after this for example so because of this double slash command so you can use uh, instead of double slash you can use uh, here slash new line command also that also will uh, give the same response in your output so yeah so far you are just uh, learnt about uh, just layout of the uh, latex so here we are going to just see about how to content wise you are going to prepare uh, latex i just wanted to go back to the presentation slide yeah yeah first uh, we are going to see uh, how to create a sectioning at the same time table of contents in your latex so here so this section was simply named as a just section slash section so here if you want to give the name uh, like uh, introduction okay so once if you could compile it so it was named as introduction so likewise you can just create multiple number of uh, sections so here i could see the font size uh, will be the smaller one but uh, it shows like in a another window like a small but uh, if you could see as a separate pdf so it will show in a proper way see see now i feel better okay so but uh, just to show in a separate window it shows like a smaller one but if you could extract as a pdf it will be the normal font size if you want to uh, uh, extend the size of the article you can just simply give here like 12 point or 14 point whatever may be the point required after that if you compile it you can see the slight difference in the size of the font okay yeah i can come back to the uh, section creation so here i was just created the introduction se section so if you want to create one more section i can just simply copy down and then paste it over here i can give the name like uh, preliminary part preliminaries see here you have got like a preliminary section likewise you can create the multiple number of sections like main results yeah main results so if you want to create one uh, sub sections like uh, that may be the number should start from 3.1 or 3.2 so here i should use the code that is a simple one that is subsection so once if you have started to type it automatically shows so there you can just click that subsection so here uh, just uh, basic results after this if we compile it uh, i could just uh, just generate as a basic results with the enumeration number like 3.1 so again if you could copy this and then paste it over here uh, like a uh, basic results 
just roughly I have given uh, one uh, subsection name like basic results too. So likewise, it is not needed to give the manual enumeration. It automatically gives the enumeration. That is the beauty of these uh, LaTeX. Uh, everything will be uh, just generated as a uh, extracted as a PDF with a highly uh, coded like a programming language. It is not needed to worry about to uh, give as a code. It is a basic uh, usage uh, English only will be there behind. Once if you are uh, started with, you will be enjoying to techify. Okay. Next last section is conclusion. Yeah, I have just given the name like a conclusion. So, see, I, it was generated with conclusion section. See, in a just one minute, uh, we have prepared one uh, template about uh, article to submit in any academic journal. So, here I just wanted to ask you, is there any guess uh, how to uh, just wanted to hide the enumeration of this subsection so there is a easier one here if suppose if I want to hide this uh, number like 3.2 simply I need to use star that's it okay I should put here star automatically the numbers are hided here uh, likewise you can follow the same thing star uh, type in your uh, major sections title also like if I just put here star in the uh, section see if you compile it it uh, it has got the number okay so in a just one minute you can prepare one article template after this you can just start feeding the text uh, whatever the content it was there already existing you can just simply copy down and then paste it over here it can just execute as a well-defined uh, uh, executable manner okay i can go back to the slides okay so here I could see some dollars are there. What is dollar? What is the role of uh, dollar in LaTeX? I am going to show to you by copying the source code and then I can paste it in the LaTeX. Yeah. So uh, here if you are going to paste any just tech document uh, like uh, tech uh, words it is not needed to give uh, in uh, like a uh, quotes uh, with the uh, dollars if you want to insert any uh, math mode uh, text like uh, v or k something whatever may be the required so there it should be given uh, between the dollars so if you would compile it you can see the magic like So automatically it is uh, italized, see, V and then PV equal to K, it was italized. So that is the beauty of this. So here I have just shown the uh, passage which contains both the tick mode at the same time math code. I can go back to the presentation. Yeah. So now uh, we are going to just discussing about uh, how to itemize your content at the same time how to enumerate your contents so that is uh, comes under formatting list so in your word you could see uh, that it itemize at the same time uh, descriptions so in LaTeX how it is going to be okay so so if you want to itemize uh, any text so there it is needed to begin with slash begin I need to give itemize so once if I press it automatically it shows the body of the format like there you can give some 
item likewise I need to copy this or uh, I can type so likewise so I could even copy the same and then I can paste it over for my convenience sake okay after paste it if I compile it see it was automatically arranged in a well formatted like a itemized formatted so you would have raised on uh, you may rise on question like so how to give the enumeration to this simply I can copy this or uh, I can just give manually like uh, begin enumeration just begin enumerate so uh, it is not needed to write once again uh, so I can just simply copy down the text which was already used for itemize I can paste it over here and then if I compile it I could see here automatically enumerates so this is comes under uh, formatting list in your tick okay one more thing uh, if suppose uh, if you want to uh, bold some text uh, for example I just wanted to uh, just in, uh, bold this uh, respective name like uh, words la so here I can just uh, simply select the text whatever the content is required uh, to bold you can use the option like bold so automatically it uh, converts as a code it is not needed to memorize any codes it was already feeded with the easier mode like if I wanted to uh, give some italics to this uh, a word, uh, you can just use here a uh, uh, text like sorry, symbol like uh, italic symbol. So it will be the features whatever they are already in word. So it is a user friendly only. So if we could run compile the file, you can see the generation of the PDF. See here. Yeah, it was bolded. It was uh, italicized okay so at the same time you can find some features like uh, left alignment center alignment and then uh, flesh uh, right that is a uh, right alignment so if I wanted to do this particular passage into the center alignment mode I can just simply select the passage and then I can give this option so after this if I could uh, run the compile the file I could see the compiler execution see it was uh, uh, just aligned uh, in a center uh, mode so these are the features uh, which was already uh, feeded with the uh, options so you can just try out uh, some more features okay I can go back to the presentation okay okay so far you have just discussed about how to format your uh, text by using itemize mode at the same time enumerate mode at the uh, same time how we can feed the uh, text mode with the math uh, equations by using dollars okay next we are going to uh, deal with how to insert the images okay so okay, it is not needed to memorize any codes uh, you can just simply you can use the uh, uh, options which was provided in uh, text studio okay I can go back to the tech compiler text studio so here I just uh, need to fix the position to insert the image I'm going to insert the image after this uh, uh, text so I can just press here enter so simply I should go there wizards options so I'm going to insert the figure simply I can drag and then uh, I could browse the file and then you can import the image that will be the easier option which is uh, uh, specially provided in text studio okay I can browse the image before that make sure uh, you are supposed to save your uh, file whatever uh, image you are going to feed in your uh, tech document that should be saved wherever your tick file is uh, saved that you are supposed to confirm that after that you can just simply 
okay so here i was loaded the uh, image after that i need to give okay see it was uh, converted as a code it is not needed to memorize any codes like uh, slash include graphics just you can browse the figure wherever your uh, image was stored okay after this just uh, run the file see here it was shown with errors okay so here uh, you should find what is the error there usually if you want to insert any image there is one package is required that is that is quite normal so you are supposed to use a package to insert the image that is package name is called graphics that you should know it graphics okay so after this simply i can compile it see it was generated yeah beautifully the uh, figure was feeded here okay so you can do some alignments uh, of this image size by increasing the image size or uh, decreasing the image size uh, by reducing it if i want to reduce the size so i can just give some size like so after this see so it was reduced the size so this is the feature uh, to insert the image it is uh, quite easier one um, i just wanted to repeat the same uh, make sure your figure file must be saved in the respective uh, file whatever your uh, tech document uh, where it is saved it must be saved in the respective folder of your tech that is a uh, prior one okay i just go back to your presentation slide okay uh, i now i believe that uh, now you are well understood how to insert the images in uh, latex by using your uh, procedure of uh, text studio so now we are can get into uh, how to insert the tables in your uh, latex okay so here uh, i can go back to the part of tech compiler text studio okay in which first i need to fix the position of the uh, table must be placed so here again i can go back to the uh, uh, wizard sorry yeah uh, in this wizard i can see quick tabular okay so if we press it uh, it will be asked see how many number of columns are required how many number of rows are required uh, you can fix uh, randomly like uh, uh, three columns are required um for example four rows are required okay so after this so it was generated so you can just give some names of the first row title you can just feed the text whatever may be the things simply you can just press the place okay yeah i was feed or something to comment the columns cells okay next so after this simply i can press okay after this it was generated as a code it is not needed to memorize any codes simply by using your uh, tech studio tools you are generated on table if you could uh, compile it yeah see here it was uh, generated one uh, nice table yeah you can do some alignments over here like uh, uh here uh, if suppose i feel that uh, the table should be placed at the center more so simply i need to select the uh, till begin uh, end table after this i am going to use the 
option which was already there that is center okay so after this if you press center it comes beautifully uh, in a centered uh, alignment mode okay next so here i just wanted to show to you uh, what are all the representation of this uh, uh, symbols that is c c represents uh, you can fix uh, text should be placed at the center of the cell i can use here uh, here it shows c uh, which means first column which uh, should be placed as the center of the cell second column also should be placed as the center of the cell third also this uh, looks like a same so here if we want to use uh, instead of c like uh, l okay so you can see that difference so here if i use here instead of c in the table it comes in a left alignment mode you can use instead of uh, l uh, you can even use uh, r also that shows right alignment uh, here uh, you should understand what is that vertical line represents vertical line represents to just show the uh, vertical line of the column if suppose if i would have removed this uh, line you can see the compiler uh, execution of the corresponding pdf see it was remove the particular column vertical line so so i need to use it so again so if i could compile it so it comes with vertical line of the column okay next so here uh, this shows about vertical line uh, this uh, shows about horizontal line horizontal line represents to just separate the uh, at the same time to just uh, give the horizontal line to each rows so here i have used horizontal lines to the uh, remaining uh, if i feel uh, like uh, i just need to remove except the first row for the other rows i need to remove the horizontal lines so i can just simply uh, remove the horizontal lines for the other rows other than the first row like if i could remove it yeah now you can see the output yeah so only for the last term it is required like a horizontal line so you can see the execution yeah this will look like this so uh, this line uh, represents the vertical uh, a line so this code represents horizontal line so what is about uh, that ampersand symbol ampersand symbol represent about to split the columns like uh, split the uh, number of columns it is required okay i hope you are uh, you are, I, i can understand your feelings this will be 100% is difficult to insert the table instead of that i am go just going to reveal to you one uh, easier tool to generate table that is uh, by using your online tool i am just going to back to your uh, internet uh, that is yeah in which uh, which i was saved as a bookmark yeah see he see here you could see L online latex table generator you could see the web page tablegenerator.com okay uh, i'm damn sure uh, it will be easier to generate table as a code okay so first uh, you need to create one table it is not needed to sign up or sign into any account just simply go back uh, go get into the website after this uh, file new table it will be asked you to confirm the number of rows and then number of columns so here i can fix like a uh, number of rows like 4 number of columns will be like 2 whatever maybe that's your convenient after this just simply create so it was created with uh, um column and then rows so simply i can press double click and then i can feed some text
okay so here I need to use some uh, uh, alignment on this table so I can just simply press here I need to know I need to just uh, draw the complete line about the table so I can just use here borders options which are options are uh, already you are familiar with the uh, MS word uh, completely it looks a resemblance uh, so it is not needed to worry about this so after this if I want to bold the first row of this table so I can just simply select the uh, rows text after this I can bold it so at the same time if you want to give the italics you can use here italics so here if you want to merge these two rows like simply I should uh, select the number of uh, columns which should be merged so I can use here yeah that should come in a center so I can use this option that is after this simply you can press here generate it was generated as a LaTeX code okay simply you can go there copy to clipboard it was copied as a LaTeX code you can paste it over here in your LaTeX code that's it finished finish the processing of table insertion by using this online yeah if I want to arrange this uh, in a centered alignment so simply I should select the tabler part and then I can put center option after this yeah if I could run it you could see the compiler output so that is uh, it was aligned in a center so that is a way you can easily uh, just insert table by using online uh, tool so there is one some more features are available here uh, if suppose if I want to give some colors to the particular text so I can even select the text whatever uh, the color is needed so I can just simply uh, here I can just select some colors and then uh, I can just generate this as a code okay so in this manner if you could follow the way it will be the easier one to generate LaTeX table okay I hope you are understood uh, well understood about to insert the images at the same time insert the uh, tables by using some shortcuts it is not needed to memorize uh, not even a single line of LaTeX commands it could be easier to uh, import your tables at the same time uh, images from your uh, uh, in your uh, text studio okay uh, until now I just believe that uh, I didn't feed you to uh, memorize any latter comments falsely uh, instead of that uh, you are just utilizing the features which are already there in uh, uh, text studio at the same time uh, it can be handled uh, tech documents by using some online tools I hope that uh, in next few moments uh, you'll be enjoying the session uh, because I'm going to say some more online tools which will be quite useful so just kindly do listen uh, without fail so I can go back to the slides yeah so next um, uh, so far you are understood uh, how to insert the figures how to insert the uh, table now how to insert the math equations uh, in LaTeX uh, by using some easier tools I'm going to just show to you uh, two basic uh, websites so I can just go to the Chrome uh, one minute yeah so in which uh, which I saved uh, already as a bookmark yeah here you could see the first one is uh, detectify okay uh, you can just take down this website it will be useful to you so detectify so what is the feature of this website so here uh, if I want to uh, just derive one uh, LaTeX code so I can just simply draw here for example if I want to collect the latter code of alpha so here simply by using mouse I can draw like this 
instantly i can get there in the right hand side uh, of the respective code simply i can copy the code and then you can paste it in your text studio you can just uh, see the compiler okay i don't know to waste the time by copying this and then paste it into your uh, text studio so it is a uh, easy one so you can just do manually so i can just uh, leave this so uh, there are some more features so likewise you can draw you can get the corresponding uh, equation symbols you can just paste it there in your uh, text studio you can compile it you can see the output so here uh, there are some more symbols are listed here you can find the numerous collections of symbols here uh, one minute i'll show the list of the symbols which are comes under uh, like see here they are listed the numerous collections of symbols among which you can pick the required one simply copy down and then you can paste it there in your uh, latex at the same time they will be mentioned you the what is the package you are supposed to use here for this particular uh, symbol you need to paste there in your tick file the respective package also okay so this is one way to insert the symbols in your uh, latex i just need to show to you one more thing that is code cox okay that is also one more way to insert the latex symbols yeah yeah so here so if you get into this website the appearance of this website will be like this so here you can find the list of uh, symbols at uh, the same time notations whatever you are familiar with uh, uh, practiced already in math type and equation mode so everything was inbuilt as a latex codes simply you can just press it over here like um, uh, some if i want to insert like a uh, double integration simply i can press it over here like integ double integration from a to b so after this uh, i can just simply copy down and then paste it back into your uh, tech compiler you can get the output so this is one way to get the output in a easier way so here you could find there are uh, some functions related to uh trigonometry inverse whatever may be the required part you can pick the respective one so it will be familiarized already you had practiced in your math type so it will not be difficult to you so you can just take down this website is also code cox okay this will be uh, quite useful to you to insert math equations math symbols functions whatever may be okay there is one more feature uh, is also available in uh, text studio okay i just wanted to show that yeah so he can go to the wizards so they will be provided math assistant so the appearance of uh, box will be there like so uh, for my convenience sake i just need to extend the size yeah so here if i want to insert some equation by using a mouse so simply i can just draw like this for example i equal to 1 to n see see here it was generated as a code simply uh you can just press insert automatically it was inserted as a code so i hope you will be enjoyed by drawing like this you can get the output so i can fix the position of uh, math type uh, sorry math text whatever uh, required in your uh, tech document if you compile it you can get the part okay that's it so uh, so likewise you can just see here you can get some output about this so likewise i just need to repeat this so here you can see one feature is called math assistant by using that you can draw the required part 
by writing by using mouse you can get the output okay this is one way of uh, insert your equations in a easier mode okay okay next one more thing so you'll be enjoying this yeah i can go back to the slides yeah uh which is matrix this is quite a uh, hundred percentage it will be useful to you so just take down this website i can go back to the uh, chrome so yeah so i'm going to open that uh, web page that is matrix yeah i can directly type here math pix.com yeah mathpix.com yeah mathpix.com so here uh, you can just uh, you can uh, scan the respective pdf or uh, whatever may be the appeared in your screen of your desktop it automatically converts as a latex comments that is a highly featured uh, of this software you can even download this as a software to your desktop or you can create an account at online by using uh, sign up uh, is a free version only and then you can just do this process in your uh, online mode also so i was downloaded this uh, software already so i'm going i just wanted to show to you how to scan the uh, file from the pdf Al also you can just scan the handwritten notes also you can convert as a latex comments so i just show to you yeah yeah so the software appearance will be like this yeah will be like this so now i am going to open this yeah initially it takes time to open yeah it was open yeah. after this uh i am my plan is uh, going to scan this particular part of this pdf uh that is uh, i am going to simply scan this part okay scan this part uh i need to uh, get to uh, derive this part as a latex code so i can go back to the math snipping tool here i can just simply press it over this option after this it will be asked you to fix the place like yeah one minute one minute sorry yeah so i can just press it here i can simply select the part what is required to convert as a latex comment see here it is beautiful one it was uh, converted as a latex code simply you can press this to copy this code and then you can paste it over there in see you can see there will not be any difference between this and then the originally pdf document similarly you can uh, even convert the handwritten notes also convert as a, a math uh, latex comments so i am going to paste this uh, copied uh, text comments in uh, text studio okay so simply i am going to paste it over here so i was placed there so for this it is required to paste on package ems math to insert any uh, mathematical mode alignments so here i was simply pasted here uh, mathematical text whatever i have scanned through math pix uh, snipping tool after this if i compile it see beautifully it was placed in the pdf so i hope you could see this now you could not see the difference between the pdf what i have scanned from the pdf uh, and then uh, the executed file 
so i hope uh, by using this tool you'll be enjoying uh, to just type instead of uh, typing you can just simply scan or uh, take a photo uh, you can uh, convert as a latex comments this will be the uh, easier tool to insert any mathematical equations so here i just wanted to insist you one more thing uh, uh, if suppose uh, if you want to insert any images there it is required to use a package called uh, graphics if suppose if you want to insert any mathematical equations or uh, if you want to do some alignments uh, in mathematical uh, mode so that time you are supposed to use ams math package that is uh, you are supposed to keep in mind so here uh, only then uh, your mathematical uh, code will be executed otherwise it shows an error for example if i would have removed this uh, particular part so here you can consider uh, it is not uh, uploaded the package so if i executed the file 100 percentage it shows an uh, error like environment error okay uh, whenever the tech compiler shows the yeah, shows an error like environment uh, error no? that time you are supposed to keep careful there is 100 percentage there is some packages are missing so that time it is needed to insert the package that is your ams math package so after inserting that if you could compile it so that uh, it will not show any error okay it excited uh, process excited normally okay so with that i just needed to show one more tool uh, that is uh, you could use the same math picks tool in your uh, android device uh, that android app name is called uh, snip uh, i just wanted to show to you one video which i have taken from my mobile so here i could not show my mobile to the screen so that's why i was just already pre-recorded one video so i'll just show the video just keep watching the video carefully uh, here it shows the yeah one minute yeah yeah this is the software name is called snip snip uh, you can just easily download this uh, software from the play store i was already installed the software yeah so here there is one feature is called uh, lively you can just take a snap uh, from uh, any paper which you have written already you can just simply uh, take a photo or lively you can just show the page uh, snap you can get the latter codes see here so once if you could see this it is uh, after captured it is needed to select the region of your uh, latter code is required once if you have selected the region it automatically convert as a latter command that's it the same work was done at uh, android device itself that is your by your phone itself after this if you if you would copy the text uh, you can simply paste it in your uh, uh, mail you can just share uh, through your mail you can uh, from the mail you can pick that you can paste it in your uh, tech compiler so that is a feature uh, you'll be enjoyed uh, surely uh, if you could use this android app so i believe that it is also available in uh, mac uh, apple uh, device also yeah so this is one way uh, to insert uh, 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 there is one more way uh, to just by uploading your uh, pdf uh, from your mobile phone uh, file manager you can just easily convert the complete page of the uh, pdf you can convert as a latex commands okay so there is a last option in this android device like uh, you can just simply uh, draw in there is an no option is called uh, draw so if you could use it uh, you can just simply draw the uh, required math equation after that uh, drawing that it automatically converts as a latex command see here here i have just practiced on uh, math equations so it takes to it takes time to scan it after that it will just show this as a latex command so this uh, these are three features are available in this android app it is advisable to you can follow this 
yeah that's it you have uh, i hope you are uh, enjoy the session uh, the part 1 yeah that's it about the first session i believe that i have feeded some knowledge about uh, the layout of the lattex structure at the same time we had just discussed about uh, different kind of environments like uh, um, itemize enumeration create sectioning uh, we are also just discussed about how to insert the figures how to insert the table by using online tools at the same time offline tools which is available in text studio also we had uh, discussed on the topic uh, like how we can insert the math equations in easier tools by using uh, snip max uh, snip uh, matrix so likewise by drawing some something like so we are all dealt with the kind of uh, concepts today so uh, we will be just sharing the entire documents whatever uh, just discussed in today's session it will mail to you shortly once the session gets over after this uh, it is advised you to install the software as given in the procedure i'll just share the link to download the software uh, download the software install the software and then you should have at least practice on the today's session then only the session will be fruitful to you okay latex is not a complicated language it depends on your hands how much you are putting effort to learn it okay so i hope that you will be following that uh, just uh, kindly do practice on these today's class and then come back to the tomorrow's class okay it not be answerable to all the questions whatever you are just uh, typed as a comments so anyway you just uh, bear with it if there is any uh, major doubt you just mail to the organizer mail id if there is any possibility surely we will uh, just answer to your questions uh, with i will post into the tomorrow's class okay thank you so much for your patience listening about this today's class thank you thank you